So, the engine is broken in. The oil change has been done. We're gonna drive it around on the tow tune, talk about some stuff, and then we'll put it on the race tune and get to some full throttle pulls. But first, I'd like to talk about this video's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is an awesome RPG mobile game. It has all the features you'd expect from a brand new RPG game on like PC. Amazing storyline, great graphics, giant boss battles, PVP fights. The basic gist of the game, you collect these awesome champions, which are essentially like your little mini army. You use those champions to go fight battle. When you complete those missions, then you get new items, you get XP, you get coin, and then you can use that to upgrade your champions and make your army stronger. One of the really cool things is that you have the ability to personally customize and choose the items you put on your champion, building a unique mastery for each one of them. A couple things that I really love about the game is the strategy involved, the incredible number of different champions there are, and I love how often you get new items and how often you're rewarded for playing. They have this awesome login reward where if you log in every day, you get better and better items. Now, if you don't believe me when I say this game is awesome, that's fine. Maybe you'll believe the 350,000 reviews and the almost perfect score it has on the Play Store, or maybe the 10 million downloads it's gotten in less than six months. The game is also growing super fast and the highly anticipated Faction Wars is now available. But without a doubt, the best part about this game is that it is free, zero dollars. Do you know that, John? It's free. Free? Yeah, it's free. Did you say free? It's free. So what are you waiting for? Go down to the description, check it out. For a limited time, you guys will get 50,000 silver and an epic champion if you download it right now. Huge thank you again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and see how this bus feels. So one of the really cool things, the tuner that we got for the bus right here, it has a data logging mode. So right now I have a data logging. The point is that I can watch every sensor on this engine and I can know like how much boost it's making at like what throttle position, at what engine load, all sorts of shit. It's really, really cool. Driving around on the tow tune at like, you know, let's say, let's give it, um, this is 20%. 20% throttle is making 4 PSI of boost. The most I saw the other day was, I think, 15 PSI. Oh, the door's open. Yeah. So you're probably asking, how does it feel? On the tow tune, at partial throttle, like I've not floored it yet, but just on the tow tune, cruise around town, it is definitely already faster than it used to be. It's not fast by any means. We still have to remember that this bus weighs anywhere from 11 to 12,000 pounds. The best way to explain it is that now on the tow tune, I can accelerate with traffic. I can keep up with normal cars without flooring it, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually really, really awesome. So on 30% throttle there, it made 11 PSI of boost. Pretty good. I'm gonna give it some juice. Not all the juice, but just a little bit of juice. That was 50% throttle exactly, 17 PSI. <laughs> I think everything is warmed up enough or we can give it our first full throttle run. A little nervous. <laughs> that sounds so sick, dude. 96% throttle. 22 PSI, woo! <laughs> so like that wasn't fast, but that was 10 to 50, pretty quick for a 12,000 pound bus. That's crazy, dude. That feels great. Everything is good. I think it's about time to throw this race tune on and see how she eats. Program vehicle. Uh, okay. Do not start the engine. Okay, so I need to turn it off. Turn vehicle ignition key to the on position. Okay, continue. So it was on ID tow. We're doing ID performance plus. Race tune is on. Let's see. Yikes. Three point turn in a school bus in a crowded parking lot. Not a good idea. Make that a four point turn. Oh, is that a five point turn? I think that's a five point turn. Anyway, we're out. Ah, uh, that is that is weird, dude. Right here at 30% throttle. If memory serves me correct, that is what it felt like at wide open throttle with the stock engine. All right, I think it's time to give it uh, the beans. It's rolling 
one coal! Just a little bit, but holy shit! 28 PSI! I floored it, and like it took a second for the trans to figure out what I wanted to do. But once it downshifted, it's like, whoa! I can't believe my, my school bus is rolling coal and doing all this shit. Holy shit, dude! That is the fastest I've ever seen that speedometer move on this thing. <laughs> so that's really cool. We're gonna get some other people on the bus and take them for a ride and just have some fun. So he just drives like a normal vehicle. Like like just right there. Like I can tell like like that took that took like zero stress from the motor versus like previously like you have to You guys ready? I'll yeah. floor it on this uh this turn here. Isn't that insane? Dude, you gotta oh do that again. <laughs> oh my goodness! We gotta do that again. <laughs> it's just like you floor it, it's like. Run! Holy shit, dude. That is insane. The low end, like yeah. so much torque. Oh man, that was awesome. That is crazy. I was just sitting there, just like, holy shit! <laughs> How far back did you go? I went into there. My feet hit the back thing. Yeah, I, I was. I went like. Oh really? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. My, my feet literally flew back oh, behind me. I can't wait to watch that footage. <laughs> I like. I kind of saw you just like disappear, but like I didn't know how far you went. Yeah. I think the bus. I was very surprised. Yeah. I was very, very surprised the by the bus. I was originally comparing it to like an eighth gen SI. I was like, yeah, it'll probably feel similar to that speed wise. And then uh -huh. I was like, you did that poll and I was like, Ooh. Yeah, so the thing is like, it, I think it feels faster than it really is. Yeah. Like, it's no, not that fast. No, the torque literally, yeah. it's, it's just, it's crazy. like, <laughs> and it's nice because it's an auto. So like yeah, in between gear it. shifts, you like still like stay pinned. The feeling of the torque, is very, very satisfying. Y'all yeah. saw me flip over. I kind of want to take the bus to like a, a drag strip just because I want to know how fast it is. But I also want to, I don't want to blow it up. I don't want to, you know, flooring it for a full like 15 seconds. If it got like a 15 second quarter mile, I'd be happy. That's like a lot of work for an engine though. You know, I don't want to. So I do have to clear something up from the last video on the bus. You know, in the last video, we had that whole fiasco where we put the engine in and it started misfiring and we had to take it all apart and rebuild it. In that video, I had said that KC Turbos accidentally sent me the wrong brand camshaft. And even though that's not technically incorrect, it's misleading and it's not exactly fair to KC uh, Turbos. What specifically happened was that I had ordered a Colt cam from KC Turbos. They drop shipped it to me. So that means that they tell their provider just to send the part straight to me. And that provider of theirs was the one who sent me the wrong part. With that being said, we're still working something out. So that's cool. The other thing we have to mention is of course, their turbo and the intake manifold that they provided. <laughs> you guys saw for yourself. That was pretty crazy. So, so yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. I don't really know what else we're gonna do today. I don't know if we are gonna do much, but. Tasha gets a ride. This is my first impression of the bus. First impression to reaction. First reaction. Damn. Holy shit, okay. It pulls. Dang. That was like 40 right there. That is crazy. Oh my god, dude. Damn. That's the good part. That was good. Oh yeah. It rips. Oh my god, for a school bus. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Sorry for the delay. I was here working on this. John decided to, well, first of all, he got a new manifold, new turbo, because the old turbo was leaking uh, oil. And then we decided to do uh, louder exhaust. So it's a full three inch straight out the uh, the fender. So this is pretty dope. I really just, just finished this. Your boy welded this all up with this new welder, which you guys will see eventually. You know, you guys were technically seeing this before like 
my subscribers are seeing this That's right now. Right. If you guys want to see it come together and see the build process, check out John's channel and see Gingium weld it all up. But yeah, it looks really cool. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. This bus is pretty incredible now. It's it's certainly crazy. Uh, it's a little scary actually. I don't know how well it will come off on videos, but that thing poles. It's not necessarily fast, but you can feel all thousand pound feet of torque. A thousand pound feet, isn't that crazy? I've got a car that's making four digits worth of torque. It's pretty cool. And it's a school bus. It's really crazy to think where the school bus came from. You know, like, thank you to everyone who has made this possible. Casey Turbo's uh, Truck Works, and of course, all, most, most importantly, you guys. Thank you again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. They also helped with the bus. I'm really happy. Uh, we can take it on a trip now. Hopefully it'll be super reliable. Really only time will tell. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Have a great day and goodbye.